Hi viewers, welcome to today's show of insights. I remain the host of this program, Shina Ola. I welcome you all to today's program. Uh, with me here in the studio is no other person than the lead pastor of Marvelous Light Assembly International Missions. His name is Pastor Samuel Oguchiko. Um, we'll be looking at a, a very interesting topic today, which says God's science. And under that, we'll be looking at various realms. That we'll be look Please do not forget to follow our social uh, media platform. Now, welcome to the show, sir. We, God bless you. We're happy to have you here. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. So, okay, you know, um, we are looking at a topic which says uh, God's science. Okay. And under that, we are looking at it like a subtopic, right? Under that, and one of that is, uh, one of the questions, rather, is uh, the REM. Okay. You understand? Okay. So, people see um, REM from different perspectives. Okay. Some uh, say there's the physical REM, there's this um, spiritual REM, and the Bible definition of REM. Mm. Right, so it, it tends to be contradicting sometimes. Yeah. So with your understanding, I want you to, to really explain. Let's get to differentiate between these realms. Okay, from my little understanding about realms, realm is actually realm can actually be termed as a place. Okay. Like we have the earthly realm, which is where we are. Okay. We have the spiritual realm, the, the spiritual realm, and in the spiritual realm, we have different realms. The greatest of all realms is the heavenly realms. Okay. where the bible say you and i are seated that's from the book of ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 where the bible say you are seated now with christ in heavenly places which can also be termed as realm so realm in a nutshell can be a dimension can also be termed a place so it's simply a place now what makes the difference between a realm and the other it is the activities that is carried out yeah. within that sphere mm, exactly 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 you understand like now in the heavenly realms where you and i are seated we know it's a place of dominion authority and power mm. where christ is seated there with us so that is the realms of gods where of god rather the realm of god where who is the supreme of all supremes where we belong to now there are other realms which i will not want to talk about because they are not relevant per se like the realms of the demons it's not a it's not an important realm to talk about because we are far above principalities and powers ephesians 1 chapter chapter 1 verse when you start reading from chapter, uh, verse 20 to 21 going downward you understand that we are superior to that realm so that realm is not our point of focus but the realm of the supernatural the realm where we belong is the realm of god which means it's a place where we as believers dwell okay you understand so that is what i can term the supernatural realm okay. but not forgetting the earth too is a realm okay and in this earth those who dominate in this earth the bible says he has made men to dominate but now who are those men that are supposed to dominate is you and i as believers okay revelation chapter 1 verse 5 revelation chapter 5 verse 10 when you talk about we god making us kings and rulers to rule this earth this dimension this realm too so so, so 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 earth is a realm earth is a realm the heaven is a realm heaven is a realm so if, if earth is a realm then what governs the, the the earthly realms what governs the earthly realms well what governs the earthly realms there are laws that governs and earthly realms okay god too governs governs earthly realms. men govern in earthly realms so 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 from from what you have said so far um if christ we are seated in Christ in heavenly realms, mm. like the Ephesians said. Mm. So we are meant to also. Uh, now I'm trying to trying to trying to uh, merge these two realms together. I'm trying okay. to see the relationship and uh, between these two realms. Okay. So if if we are looking at heaven as a realm, okay. then earth is a realm. Then God has no. God has placed us here, right? Yeah. So do we do we really? I'm trying to say, do we really um, use the power of those uh, uh, illogical? Now we are here on earth. Do we use heavenly realms to operate? here on earthly realms why not oh why not the bible says christ had to god became man okay left the realms of where he was which is the inapproachable light first timothy chapter 6 from verse uh, i think 16 verse 15 and 16 okay he said god dwells in the inapproachable light that's the dwelling place of god he left the inapproachable light took up flesh and came into the realm of the earth yes. which is the realm where you belong 
and then he died why so that they may be dominion you may have dominion over serpent scorpion over demons over everything so now if god came that you may have dominion it means you have the ability to dominate on this realm first of all you need to understand one thing this realm which is the earthly realm was created for you man mm. and when god created this earthly realm in genesis he said may you have dominion over the fish of the air uh, over the fish of the sea See? the birds of the air and over everything on this realm so the this realm belongs to you and since it belongs to you the authority and the power has been given to you to dominate this realm and if it has been given to you to dominate this realm you have that power okay you understand what I'm trying to say? so you seated with christ in the heavenly, heavenly places yes. in the heavenly realm is as your authority as that you have gained as a son as a child of god that authority is dispensed to on the earthly realm mm. that's why the bible tells you that whatever you bound on earth it shall be bound in heaven now you are the one having that jurisdiction to command authority from here and when you command authority from here what happens the authority is obeyed from he is he in heaven heaven backs it up why you have that authority both in the heavenly realms both in the earthly realms both in the demonic realm that's how god made it you have authority as a man over all the realms so the heavenly realms is superior to all, all the realms. realms and now if you are dwelling in the heavenly realms then you have authority over all, all the realms oh interesting so that, that that that's that brings me to this question okay right uh, if why then why are christians really afraid of uh, the, the demons you know if, if we are saying that as a christian we are seated in heavenly realms which yes. is more superior than every other, other realm, realm. Okay. and it controls every other realm then why why are believers afraid of you, demons you know the the bible the bible says something very important my people perish for lack of knowledge Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 he did not say my people perish for demons food or whatever he says lack of knowledge now this is what i want to say one of the things I love concentrating on the Word of God, yeah. and I love to go deep and just ask God, I want to understand, is because knowledge is power. You cannot live above or beyond the knowledge you have. That's true, that's true. People downplay the power of knowledge. Knowledge is power. When you have knowledge, you are in a place where you have a kind of understanding. It brings, it gives you life. Like you, you dominate. Many of the people you see today working in a particular kind of level is based on the knowledge they have up in that. That's what makes them operate in that level. Now, in this case, believers, some believers or many believers are victims because of the lack of knowledge they have. Many of them don't really understand things. Many of them face traditions, other things. They don't check into the word of God to try to understand what the spirit of God is saying through his word and all of that. So that's the problem we have. And then because we don't have the accurate knowledge, we fear, turn to fear demons. Demons in simple terms are fallen angels. Fallen angel, what does it mean by fallen angel? It means they've left the place of glory where they were first created to be. Okay. And they have been they are falling short. It's like when we call the fallen man, Christ has come to restore the fallen man. Okay. And now we are restored because of Christ. So fallen angels are demons. Now, but before we go ahead, I, I just want us to understand something. Angels, according to the scripture in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14, he said they are ministering spirits <clears throat> unto you and I. Ministering spirits can also be termed as they are there to serve you. Yes, they are to serve me. Angels are my servants. They are your servants. And if they are ministering angels are your servants, it means you are superior to them. Because they are your servants. And if you read the scriptures, the Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 3, Paul made a statement there. He said, don't you know you will judge angels? You can't judge who is less, who is superior to you. You can't judge God. God is the superior of all beings you can never judge him he has the ability to judge you not the other way around so you judge who you are superior to it's like when we go to the court of law you see judges in that sphere they are superior to everybody sitting in there 
Because whatever judgment they pass, that's what is final. Nobody can come and revoke it except God introduce okay. himself and intervenes. And he will pass through the judge because they are hierarchies. And now if God says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 3, that you will equally judge angels, then it means you are superior to angels, that they are servants to you. And if they are servants to you, how much more fallen angels that the ones that are servants to you are superior to? I want us to understand the level where devils are and the level God has elevated you to. That's why you're a son of God. Do you know what it means to be a son? A son means if the father is not there, even if the father is there, the son takes action in the place of his father. And God is superior to all. You two are superior to all. So there is no need to fear, fear devils. There is no need to fear demons. Why? You are superior to them. And when we talk about the origin, it simply comes of what I just explained. So that is what I can say. Okay, thank you very much. Thank so um, uh, I really I really like that. I really like the way you answered uh, that question. With this now, I think um, our viewers will be able to understand first, they are, they are right in Jesus. Yes. Secondly, they will be able to understand the realms which they operate from. Mm. And they also, be, they, they also, they can understand that they don't have um, to be afraid of demons at all, they be placed high and far above, far above demons, and and about even demons. So, yes. we should exercise that dominion exactly. Thank you very much, sir. God uh, bless you. I look forward to having you some other time here. <laughs> uh, it's my pleasure. God bless you. So, that was a wonderful uh, um, teaching by our pastor, Pastor Samuel Guchuku. Um, lest I forget, uh, please follow all our social media handles and thank you for watching. Bye for now.